Today I'm checking out this 12.8 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. It's going to come with the battery. It's going to come with some terminal bolts. The manual is going to give you all the specs on this. So I'm going to get this thing charged all the way up and we're going to do a capacity test on it. All right, so let me see if I can real quickly run through this. This is the battery. It's now fully charged. You can see here it's got a resting voltage of about 13.9 volts. That is been popping between 13.9 and 13.8. So it's at a good resting point. Then I've got three heavier gauge wires. I think these are sixes and an eight, but I've got three of them going to the inverter to make sure that there's enough wiring to power the inverter properly without having low voltage because of the wiring. I've got this battery monitor here to be watching what's coming out of the battery, not what's coming out of the inverter to the AC unit. It's just watching the power coming out of the battery. The inverter is a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Then I have the power cord of this 5000 BTU AC unit plugged into the 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. And this is how I'm gonna do my capacity test. So the first thing that's gonna be tested is can this battery here handle the spike in power that this AC unit's gonna need when the compressor starts up? So that's one part we're gonna be testing. And then the other part we're gonna be testing is how long can it run this AC unit off of 100 amp hours? Do we get the full amount of watt hours out of this battery that we're expecting? And can it handle the jolt? The AC unit should be working fine. It is an older unit, so it does take a little bit more power to start, but it still should be able to run on one 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery. So with all that said, let's get this thing started. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the inverter on. So now I'm gonna turn the AC unit on and I'm gonna put the AC unit all the way down as cold as it can so we can keep this thing running and see how long it's gonna work. So since the battery was able to handle the jolt of power that the compressor asked for, we know it should be able to kick out more than the 100 amps that it's rated for continuously. And most batteries like this are, you typically can get at least double 200 amps for a short period of time. So everything is looking good right now. I'm gonna let this thing run. As you can see, it's pulling about 365 watts. It does typically pull while it's running around 400-ish. Sometimes it'll go up, sometimes it goes down based upon the temperature outside and everything, but this is doing good. And as you can see, that's putting about a 28 amp load on the battery. So everything looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and let this run and we're gonna see how much power we can get out of this battery. All right, so we're down to the bottom. It's beeping. I see we've already surpassed the ratings on the battery, so that's great. And we've been running this AC unit for three hours and 15 minutes already. So lots of good information here, lots of good data. I'm actually gonna go ahead and kill it now because it is getting down to a low voltage. I don't wanna run the battery too low. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn everything off now. Look at this, we got this room down to almost 60 degrees. So the lowest I could set this AC unit on, it looked like it was 61. And man, we were getting close to doing that. Now, I do want to say it's not summer right now, so it's not super hot outside, but I am in Texas and it's mid 70s today. And the battery did great. It got uh, 1,280 something watt hours, so 1.28 kilowatt hours. That's great. I mean, that's what it's rated at, 102 amp hours. It handled everything that this AC unit could throw at it. So, you know, the amperage pool that this AC unit had, the battery met it with no problem. The three hours and 16 minutes, that's gonna change a little bit based on how hot and cold it is outside. And you know, you might get anywhere from two to three hours. But yeah, this battery did outstanding, did everything this AC unit needed. Sure, a 100 amp hour battery can run an AC unit for hours. So I'm very happy with it. I hope all of this information was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Y'all take care.